what's going on everyone it's Andrew here back with uh, car mechanic simulator 2021 uh, today we're restoring a customers RX 7 for them um, this thing right here uh, it is a 1992 Mazda RX 7 also too if you remember the movie from fast and the furious the first one Dom's red car in the beginning of the movie and halfway through it he drove a RX 7 I believe his was a 93 model I could be mistaken, it could have been newer, it could have been older, I'm not sure, but that's what I'm pretty sure. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to wash the interior, and we're going to wash, 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 wash. And we're going to do the exterior, and then we're going to try to, instead of buying all new parts for it, we're going to try to restore it the best we can with all the parts that are on it. Now, there's no guarantee on how anything's going to turn out. I may have to. Uh, but I do have, I did go out and sp splurge a bit on uh, parts, we'll say. Uh, let's see, we're going to move this one over to garage entrance site. And we're going to spot this with the supercharged El Camino. El Camino. Alright, here's where we're at. This is what we got going on for us. We're going to take it off the wheels, put her up in the air a little bit. Perfect. Let's yank the hood. And supposedly this front fender is junk. We'll figure that one out when the time goes on. Alright, I think everything else is done. Beautiful. Let's move over a handy dandy welder. And let's get her all cleaned up. 1400 smoke leads. Alright, so. The customer was right and said that the the front right fender was non salvageable so he was right now we've got the hoodie look at banana banana all right let's move this back put this thing way up in the sky let a bird fly of course you know gotta have that one bug nut that's being stubborn but I want to try it looks like the suspensions mostly all here now we're gonna try to repair as, or salvage as much of this suspension as possible you know try to save the customer a couple bucks you know what I mean uh, sorry for not putting out a video over the past few days it's been uh, I don't know if you guys can tell by the sound of my voice or not but I have been a little bit under the weather and it's been weird because it's only been in my sinuses and not even in my chest. Not, you know, it hasn't been a head cold. It's been like only allergies. And frankly, I don't understand. Not this time of year. But it is what it is. You know, things happen for reasons, right? Maybe I just need to take a break. I don't know. Who knows? I don't. I just live here. Come on, rusty boat. Get out of there, man. There we go. Poor effect. All right, let's take out this lower front or, um, arm, the upper center arm. And we're not going to be putting any performance parts on this thing. Everything is going to be back to factory original because that's what the customer has instructed. And I'm fine with that, you know. Timeless classic, you know. Let's keep the classics timeless. And technically, this is an antique classic. I believe it's what 25 years older is a classic 30 years is an antique classic so maybe this isn't quite that yet let's see 92 to 2002 2002 to 2012 2012 yeah 30 years wow dang don't i just feel old now because i was eight years old when this came out i feel old Oh well, it's life in it. <laughs> All right, take this arm off. Are we able to get the upper arm off? Yeah, we did, man. Have to get that rusty bolt out. Also, too, tune in Saturday. I will be live streaming. Just to let everybody know. For all of you that are interested, I have no idea what we're going to be uh, doing. 
drop it in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. I was thinking Grand Theft Auto or American or American uh, Last One Road Truckers is what I was thinking because they're the games that you know require time to do it right. We all got some time. All right. Well, I'm very packed. Get off, didn't I? Rhoda. Wheel hub. Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Better yet, don't answer. It's too long of a list. Alright, I'm going to take out the spring cup. The spring arm holder dealy. Right there. Uh -huh. The sway bar and link for the rear. As a sway bar. Let's get rid of this cross member. We don't need it there no more. I'm going to take that out and take this out. Alright, I'm going to scroll up here to the front. Transmission. Ah, oh, rusty bolt. Gotta love it. Rusty lugs. Alright, take out that center cap right there. Take out the wheel bearing right there. Mm hmm I'm going to take out the sway bar and link A for the front. Then we're going to take out the strut. Perfect. Take out the lower control arm. Alright, beautiful. Let's take off the caliper. The brake pod. The rotor. We love. <laughs> we love. Backing plate, the shield. I have no idea what knuckle that is, but I guess it's probably going to be an A. Because there's only two of them in here. There's an A and a D. Alright, let's get this wheel off. Oh. Let's get this wheel off. Excuse me here for a minute, guys. Alright, I'm gonna get this rusty bolt out, get this wheel off. Perfect. Caliper. Brake pod. Center cap. Wheel bearing. Let's get this rota off, man. Have I got the brake cleaning machine in here? Yeah, I do. Let's see if we can actually clean all the rotors, too. Be all fancy about it. I mean, we're not going to get all that much more money for it than what we would if we put performance all the way through it, but you know what, that's fine. That's not what this is about, right? It's about restoring a timeless classic. Oop, we should get the lower control arm off first. That's right. And in regards to that car in car lift B way over yonder, what I'm intending on doing for that one is I'm on the hunt for the Mercedes-Benz SLS in here that we have. And uh, once I get that, then we're going to do a comparison because this is the generic version of it. Basically, this is the Timu version of it right here. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking for the IKEA version. So once we find that, that'll, that'll also be incorporated into a video. Dang, she's stripped. Brought her to car strippers, man. Alright. Now, let's go put this motor on here. And right there. Twin Turbski. Alright, now how does this thing come apart? Well, first off, let's get this out. And we'll take this off too, right here. Rusty bolts. If 
flywheel. I'll take that. Oh, then we need the rotor. And we need to take out the front cover, don't we? No, maybe the crank? No, and uh, what about this? Okay. No, now we take the crank out. There we go. Awesome. All right. We'll run over here. Actually, let's go check see, because this takes forever. Ooh, look at that. We can fix up all the brakes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Here we go. Ooh, that's no, that's no good. That's okay. I mean, we only got to spend five grand on parts. We only got to spend five grand on parts. It's a lot cheaper than spending, you know, 20, 30 grand on parts. I found the best way to do this is try to get it in the center. If you get multiples, like three of them or more, try to get it in the center. You'll almost get perfect every time. Or if it's double, put it in the first one. Sometimes second. So far, it looks like everything's becoming clean-ish. But we are going to go through and get the new shock, springs, um, inner and outer tie rods, um, sway bar end links for the front and the rear. Woohoo, saving money. That's what we do. Now we're on the front. Okay, so they were front steering knuckle ways. Take out the lower control arms. Your knuckle A. Stubborn. Front cross number H. Wow, that's the expensive one. That's on supercars. Oh gosh darn, look at that, huh? We've got everything but the one rotor that we were able to fix. Perfect. All right. All right, let's get the first part back on here. Shiny, shiny new. I have no idea which is a brand new part and a rebuilt part. I have no idea. Tell you one thing though, we forgot I forgot electronics for the car. Mm. I'm pretty sure there's a coil pack something for it, isn't there? I can't remember. Yeah, there it is right there. Maybe we'll get two of them, just be on the safe side. And I'm not sure what fuse box I need. I know we're going to need some wires for it right here. Uh, we should have enough fuses and stuff, so we shouldn't need to worry about that. We're going to get a new starter, and we need to get full plugs. Beautiful. Let's put the other rotors on. Last one, by the looks of it. This is gonna, this is the most challenging part of all this is building this. All right, let me put this. Oh, hey, wait, hey, woo, wee, wee. I'm gonna blow this thing up. 
Yeah, I have all the parts to build another motor, so. It's gonna be a little, thank God I don't have all the performance parts to build this motor, because it'd be a little sketchy. Beautiful. Let's put this on, the coil. Beautiful, let's put the plug wires on. Alright, let's put the rotor in. How, the rear housing block, I guess it would be. What we got here? No, Alright, we're going to have to go here. Order them in. This, this, uh, this. Let's grab one of these two. Alright, now we're going to have to go look. Oh, wait. We should have got... Man, I'm constantly forgetting stuff. I have a feeling I know exactly what that one is, but who knows. But while we're waiting for it to show up, let's uh, finish putting all this stuff together here. Into what we have before we got to run, you know. I got one of these. Oh, look at that. I got one of them. I got a... Oh, look at that. We got the crank counterweight. Beautiful. We got a timing chain. Ooh, we're ahead of the game here. We got timing cover. Got one of them too. Perfection. Got the water pump. What about the water pump pulley? And we've got a crank pulley. Ooh, we've got one in too. I don't think it's for this project, but we got one. We got an arm. Yep. Beautiful. Idler B. Oh, we've got a couple. Arm B. Rot 13B. And we've got a water pump. No. Or fuel pump, I mean. Water pump. It's already right there. <laughs> Alright, we need one of these. Need one of those. We already got one of these. Alright. We got the intake manifold. We got the exhaust manifold. Uh, we got an oil pan fault. Sure do, man. Alright, I'm gonna put the filter on, or the turp skis on. We got them. Beautiful. But whatever goes right there, probably the exhaust pop. Alright, uh got a fuel filter? Not the one we're looking for. Alright, let's see. We got a fuel rail. Yeah, we do, man. Let's go see if our other parts showed up. We should order some of them right now. Uh, what was these? Uh, we need that. We need that. And... Oh yeah, we also need an alternator. Right there. Perfect. Alright, let's go see if our other parts that we ordered showed up. Hopefully they'll be here. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Let's see, where would they be coming? Uh, back here, maybe. Uh, no, they haven't moved back there yet, so that means they'd be right over here. Uh, where are we looking? What's that? Nope, that's not it. Oh, yeah, here we are, right here. These four boxes. All right, so we'll grab the parts out of there, out of here. Beautiful. What else we got? Uh, three boxes, pardon me. And we'll take all the parts out of there, too. Now hopefully we got enough. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. Alright, let's put the old filter on. The Euro filter. Put the flywheel. No, silly, silly mechanic. Race parts are for domestic vehicles. But to be honest, a lot of these vehicles are made on this end of the world. Which would technically make them domestic. Anything that's made on North American soil is domestic. You know what I mean? So. Uh, no, wrong one there, Skippy. Wrong one. There we go. There's the one we're looking for, right there. Mm-hmm. We got a belt put on this thing, man. Let's get the belt done. 
We got another belt here. Yeah, I think we do, man. Idler, eh? Yeah, buddy. We bought another Idler, eh? Perfection. Alright. We got a fuel filter. No, we do not. I'll have to order one of them right now. Uh, we also need a fuel tank, too. Hmm. There's a fuel filter, a fuel pump, and a fuel tank. Alright, let's see here. Alright, let's see, we need two of these, two of those, two of those, uh, we need a couple of these, a couple of those, uh, we're going to need that, uh, I don't believe we repaired the shocks because there was none, I don't know well, there was, but eh. we need two of those, uh, that I guess is probably going to be this one or this one. Who knows? I don't. So we'll get both of them. We'll get some uh, bushings. Some little bushings. Perfect. Uh, we need a couple of those. We need four of these. Two of those. Uh, what else do we need here? All right, we definitely need the four pads. We've got all four rotors. We've got one brake caliper, two brake caliper, three, and a brake caliper cup. Okay. Okay. So we need this one. Probably also going to need one of them, too. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what else we need. Hmm. Um, I can't know offhand, but let's go look for a fuel filter. Maybe our other parts showed up too. Those would be pretty quick if they did, but you never know. All right. Soon we will be ripping this apart and building this one. Uh, there it is, right here. Huh, that was here fast. All right, let's grab the parts out of here that we need. Thank you. Now run back inside here. Let's get these done, right? And we still gotta get tires for this. I got the rims, the wheels, but I don't have tires yet. All right, now we got a fuel filter, right there. Mm -hmm. Didn't actually forget too many hearts. Awesome. All right, motor's built. Now let's put this thing up in the air. Let's put the suspension on it. Now what size was this thing supposed to be? 235, 45, 17. There's a little bit of extra slack around it. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to bump it up to 245. Yeah. Wait, what wheels were on it? Hmm. Just tell me what wheels. Excuse me. Should. It's probably standard or sport tires. Okay, sport tires. So we'll go four, 
18, so I bumped it up a size. 245, 45. Boom. Just like that. And I changed the design because this, this is what he wanted right here. He didn't like that five spoke or whatever they were. He wants a bit more of a classy wheel. I was like, all right, well, it's your dollar, not mine. Even though I don't think there's really much difference on cost anyway, but. And he also said that he wanted it 18s instead of 17s because he says it's easier to find 18 inch tires where he lives if he needs to change them versus. You know, 17. So I guess everybody must have everybody must have expensive cars or something. You know what I mean? All right. Last one. Go there. We got one more to put on after these. While we're waiting on that, let's grab this off of here. Everything should be on there. Yep. Perfect. All right. The last one here to balance and then it's ready to put everything back on the car now he did say we got to go put whatever kind of color on the car itself that we want which i'm not sure what we're gonna do really not all right um All right, well, you're all about to see, close your eyes. This exhaust, just regular exhaust pipe. Uh, rear muffler V8. And the middle, middle muffler. Right there, man. Uh, muffler V8 right there. Okay. See, those I already had them in the back, so, you know, that's why I didn't have to run out back. You have to excuse that noise in the background. That is the bread maker. The wife is making a loaf of bread. Alright, bushings are in for that. I'm going to put the... Rear axle knuckle housing A. Let's put the sway bar in, probably sway bar B. Yep. See, I knew. Actually, I didn't know, but we'll just say I knew. Uh, did I ever grab that last rotor off of... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I grabbed that last one off the machine. Pretty sure I did, man. Alright, let's put this in. Beautiful. Put this in. Perfect. Or put the little one in. There we go. Excuse me here while I take a drink. Tim Horton's coffee, man. Nothing greater. First thing in the morning, nothing better. Spring cap, the spring, the rear shock absorber cap. Hey, I remember the name of it this time, man. All right, wheel hub three or dust plate, dust shield, vacuum plate. Something that keeps the brake dust down. Which, in my opinion, they don't work for crap, but whatever. It is what it is, man. Uh-oh. Ooh, look at that. That actually sits in there pretty darn good now. Pretty darn good, I might have to say. Beautiful. I didn't screw it up. I thought I almost did mine. Alright, put the sidearm in. The bushing. The lower arm and then the shock next. Pull 
свой эффект. There we go. Put the little blue thing in on the rear. I'm gonna put this arm in, lower rear arm. Alright, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna put this on, right there. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we're gonna swing around to this side. It's been a minute since we've actually taken something apart, restored, and put it all back together, huh? I mean, like, actually clean up all the pieces and parts and stuff. It's been a minute. Feels good to do that once in a while. Refreshing, we'll say. Let's put the wheel on down there. Just like that. Party. Party, party. Alright, let's run up here to the front. But while we're here, let's just take a little gander around, okay? ECUB. And where's the... Uh... Alright, and it's fuse box A. Okay. Well, we're maybe going to upgrade something. We might upgrade the ECU to uh, tune it, we'll say. <laughs> tune the stock motor to as maximum performance as possible. It'd be so great. Alright, let's put the front steering knuckle A on. Alright, now we're going to put the strut on. Perfect. Sway bar and link A. Just like that. Beautiful. Now we're going to put the steering rack on. The inner tie rod right here. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now we're going to put the outer tie rod on so it's not plaguing us with problems later. We're going to try to put the wheel on. You know what I mean? Lower control on. Just like that. Party. Now we're going to put the backing plate. Now we're gonna put the wheel hub on. Beautiful. Now we're gonna put the wheel bearing, dust cap, rotor. Got four of them. How about that, huh? All right. Now the wheel goes round and round. And my little went a little too much on that one. All right. Now we put the in a tie rod back in. All brand new, see? Alright. Now we get that on, what we also gonna do is we're gonna bring up our tablet here. Now we're gonna jump up out of here, go down here, come over here, go over there, and then we are gonna put some performance on it. He don't know it yet, but we're gonna get him something good. Ten thousand dollar piece, man. We're going to have a little bit of party fun with this car. Oi. Alright, now we're going to bounce back up over here. Put the strut in. Just like that. Put the sway bar link on right there, number A. Out oh, there, look compressed, huh? Don't be compressed. It's not the end of the world. Alright, now we're going to put the wheel bearing in. Dust cap. Perfect. Rotor. Pad. Caliper and caliper cylinder. Just like that. Now the wheel. Beautiful. Just like that. Perfect. Ooh. Eh. Who really knows? I don't. Alright, now we're just gonna run through this here. What is this? Ah, okay, gotcha. Alright, uh, where is it? Where are you? Type A. Uh, where's the box for type A? Way up over yonder. 
the lid for type a is right here and we gotta zoom over here real quick zoom 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 and we got to get the clip a b's for this beautiful perfect uh, we should have one of these we do we got one of these we do what about this we should we just got it all right we're gonna do this put that on and then we're gonna put this on perfect no point if you're not gonna have any fun right I mean, totally into this car right now. We're in for it for about uh, twenty-six thousand dollars. Well, twenty-five five. That I'm gonna have to get, which is D or C C. Put the radiator in course dual fan do I got a dual fan hey look at that dual fan party let's jump on over here fuse box eh? let's jump down here put the side smaller fuses on first instead of the big relays beautiful three season and we have three B's but we only got two left and we got two A's so we should be good after this put the cover on as the expression goes set it and forget it uh, yeah okay let's go get the motor after I stop bumping into everything Alrighty, we're running, we're running. Ooh-wee, look at that. Ooh, doggy. Put in all of our fluid. So when we're done with this, we can bring it straight over to the paint shop, we'll order the body panels for it, put the hood on it. And, uh, yeah, we should be good. There's your little spot right there. Duh. Silly me. This is for grown ups. Excuse me. Gotta sneeze here. Sorry about that. It's no fun when you're under the weather. I've never noticed this before, but there's a dangerous sticker on this alternator. Never noticed that before, right there. That's detail, man. That's detail work right there. Alright, no guessing this time around. It is all right there. Now, in theory... Once I put the transmission on, it should fire up. I hope it does, because we've got to put it on the dyno and get it all tuned out and stuff for them. Make sure the ECU is actually reading all the good components to it. Alright, last part right here. And then up, up in the air she goes. So we finish underneath it. Put transmission on, starter, drive shaft, exhaust pipe. You know, over here, I seal the deal right there. Up, up she goes. All right, let's put the transmission on in. This one, I'm gonna say. I have no idea. Of course, it'd be a starter V8. Right. Let's 
got to pretend it's a big kid now. All right, that's on. Put the reed shaft on. I think we're going to tune it before we go and put it in the body shop. Dino. Dino time. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Ooh, look at that. 16% on a stock tune. <laughs> ah, yeah. It's supposed to have 291 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 259 foot pounds of torque at 5,300 RPM. That's how much we've increased it. Just by putting an ECU on. That's it. Let's hope for at least 300 horse, 300 pound feet. That needs off the charts on there. 360 horsepower at 6700 RPM, I think, or is that 69? Sixty-seven and three hundred and fourteen pound-feet at fifty-three hundred RPM. A bit of an increase. Twenty-four percent increase on horsepower. Twenty-two percent increase on torque. And nothing wrong with that. All right, let's bring this over to the body shop now. All right, now we're gonna look for some interior for it. Interior. Right there, RX-7, Leather 1. Not really much options. All right, let's see. I went right through all the seats there. Let's see, we got two RX-7. And then we need the steering wheel for RX-7. Thank you, there we go. As much as I'd like to put in aftermarket seats, that's not what this one is about. Perfect. Now let's buy some panels for it. Oh, what? Huh? Eh, yeah, doesn't want that. He wants all this. He wants the little flip up headlights. Got his own license plates for it, so I don't got to worry about that. Beautiful. I think the body is pretty much done. Yep. 90% probably only because it needs the uh, license plates on it. All right, now we're going to paint the car. What have we got in here for paint work? Ooh. Ooh. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, the car came in with this color right here. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that one. Not 
right there. We're gonna take that one. We're gonna bump this up to here. Bump this back just a bit. Uh, put a little bit of brightness on it. Perfect. There we go. She is done. I guess maybe it's not quite done yet. We still got to give it an alignment and stuff. Left, now we do right. Slide it up, slide it to the left, ironically. Perfect. Alright, now we bring her up to the front. That's it. Right there. Hmm. Looking good. Alright everyone, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we shall catch you all in the next one. And before we go, let's let's dump it off. Alright, not bad. Heals me forty-four thousand. But he said he's gonna offer us ninety grand for the car to be fully restored. Okay. All right. Again, thank you everyone for watching. And we shall catch you on the next one, everyone. Bye.